Waves and welcome back to my channel and to this video that's gonna be a full face of Eden almost. I did a f <laughs> well, hmm, let me explain. I am doing a full face of Eden Minerals but I also wanted to make a twist on it because I wanted to show you how you could bring a little bit of color into your everyday look. I don't really do everyday looks. I do not wear makeup to work and that's not because I can't. Uh, I could wear my blue smoky eyes to work if I wanted to. It's that I don't feel like I have the time in the morning. Like, I do makeup because it's fun. And, and I go up at 0510 in the morning. And I wouldn't feel like it's fun to go up earlier just to do my makeup. So that's why I don't wear makeup to work. I feel very pretty without makeup. So I personally have no problem with not wearing makeup to work, to be honest. But I do appreciate a nice, more subtle, colorful look as well. Um, so I thought that maybe I can incorporate a bit more of that on my channel. Um, I am using all Eden products except the two blue products that you see and I will show you the entire look before I put the blue on as well in the end of the video so you can see how all of the Eden things look um, before I put the blue on so to speak. I am wearing foundation, concealer, powder, um, bronzer, eyebrow gel, eyeshadows, mascara, lipstick, like it's all Eden Minerals. I was at an event, uh, actually a brand trip. Oh with Eden Minerals here in Stockholm. It is a Swedish brand though, so the trip for me wasn't that long. I met the American influencer Courtney from Fair and Nix. If you have not, not seen her, you should really check her out. She is amazing. She is the reason I wanted to go to this event and I'm so like amazed that I was able to meet her. She's such an amazing person. You have to go check her out. She swears by the liquid foundation by Eden. So if you want to see uh, what she thinks about it, although spoiler alert, she thinks it's great, you should really go check out her channel. Um, I know that she loves Eden because it is uh, for sensitive skin, if you are acne prone, if you have rosacea, if you have allergies or asthma or any kind of sens skin sensitivities, Eden Minerals could be for you. If there's maybe brands, if you're finding it hard to find brands that would fit your skin, I do not have sensitive skin, I know that Eden could be for you. There are I know that there are people in Sweden that really swear by this brand and that they were not able to wear any other kind of makeup before Eden came because it is free from anything that could cause any kind of reaction on the skin. And this is actually the only makeup ever that the Asthma and Allergy Association of Sweden has recommended. So this is sold at, um, not drugstores, because we don't have drugstores, it's sold at like apoth apothecaries, like where you buy medicine, that's where this brand is sold in Sweden. So if you are interested in checking them out, I will leave the website down below. All of these things were sent to me as PR or given to me as PR at the trip, but they do not know that I'm making this video. This is not sponsored in any way, shape or form by them. So I'm doing this on my own initiative because I did ask you if you were interested in seeing this and you said yes. I also wanted to tell you like a fun story uh, to begin this. Before we go into the actual look, and that is that when Eden Minerals started about eight years ago, I want to say eight years ago, was it ten years ago? Eight years? Oh, I think eight years ago. I was actually the model for Eden Minerals. I was the girl on the pamphlets and on the uh, like makeup stand in the stores. It was actually pretty cool. The like ads that were in magazines were um, with me for Eden Minerals. Let me see if I can find those things. Let me go actually go check for them. It was pretty cool actually to now go on this like event as instead a beauty YouTuber and be able to look at the makeup from a different standpoint. It was like in Sweden we call it like the circle has been closed. It's it's pretty cool to be honest. I when I did modeling, I I mean, I'm kind of short. I don't know exactly how long it is in like feet and inches. Just get with the program. But I am 167 uh, centimeters. So I am pretty average height. And there's no way that I was able <laughs> to be walking any kind of runway. I did mostly uh, lingerie and swimsuit and what we call glamour. I don't know if people call it glamour in other parts of the world. I really don't know. And I did a lot of commercial stuff as well. I would say that Eden is maybe one of my more bigger brands that I work with, although I have made TV commercial for Burger King actually back in the day. So I, I have a lot of stories that I could tell. But yeah, I, I, let me go see if I could actually find it because I do have a pile of things that like has been published with my face on it. So let me go see if I can find it. And 
show you before we get into the look. Okay, so I didn't find a lot of stuff, but I did find the pamphlet. Look, this is me! Look, I'm such a little baby! Look at those eyebrows! And I was such a ginger girl back then, so this is the Eden Minerals, Next Generation Mineral Cosmetics. Uh, and this was the pamphlet that you could get when you were, like, buying the makeup, so this was me. I I think it's pretty cool. Like I think it's pretty cool that I am now able to show you this makeup on my YouTube channel since it is a Swedish makeup brand. It is cruelty free and like I said, very appropriate for sensitive skin if you have any kind of sensitive skin. And that I used to model for them. I feel like it's pretty fun. I think it's pretty fun. So yeah, let's just get into the look. It's gonna be a full face. I'm going even like from skincare to foundation and concealer and blah 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 all the way to applying two more bluish products from Colourpop showing you how you can add some color to your look or maybe if you want to bring one or two items to your workplace if you want to go for like drinks or something after work how to just spruce it up a little bit without going totally overboard because I do realize that a bunch of you out there, you want to embrace, embrace color a bit, but you're afraid that it's going to be too much, and I hear you. So I am trying to do this series, and let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see in this. Don't be too harsh on me if it takes me a bit of a t some time to do the next episode in this like wearable color thing, because I do want to do more. But for all, like, do hold me accountable for uh, filming something more, because I do want to. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. But yeah, that was everything. Enough talking. Let's get into the look. Okay, we are gonna do a... I'm saying a full face of Eden, but I think I'm gonna have to, using it very loosely, pulling some things from other brands, because I don't think I have everything we need. I did have the powder foundation from before. I was given this uh, from Eden on an event that I have been on before, but I think this is about two years old. This is a shade that's like one shade too light for me. This is in Saga 003. So I probably, if I would have picked out my shade today, would have picked out something that's uh, one uh, shade darker. This is neutral light. So maybe I would have picked up like one shade darker. Um, in the event, on the event, at the event, oh my god, they gave us this like super big bag filled with things and most of this is skincare. I'm gonna quickly show you some of those things and maybe I'll use like a moisturizer or something. Or is it there's like a primer or something? Because I usually don't use a primer. I usually don't use a primer. Let's just leave it at that. I use a pore filling primer if I am using a very, very full coverage super matte foundation. And I am using something with some kind of like a glowy primer if I am doing a sheer coverage foundation, which I usually do when I'm off on vacation. And I will do like a longevity primer if I know I will be wearing the um, foundation for like all day. I'm talking like morning, lunch, night, like all the way through bedtime, <laughs> then I'll use some kind of primer. Otherwise, like day, I'm not. So let me see what I can find in this bag because I think there is something I can use. Okay, I'm going to show you now why this bag is so heavy because there is a... Oh, these have numbers on them so you know which one you're going to start with. So this is number one. Gentle face peeling. We have a moisturizing face mask. This is, doesn't have a number on it because I guess you can use it whenever you want. This is also a smoothing face scrub. So these are different. One is a gentle and one is a deep cleansing exfoliator. So two different exfoliators and a mask. And then also, what, what would be number two then? Oh, this is a cleansing micellar water. That's amazing. I didn't know they have that. Oh, and a cleansing face and eye mousse. I'm guessing there is a toner in this line as well. I don't see it here, but I'm guessing that's number two. Then there is a rich night cream and a moisturizing day cream. Um, and uh, oh, this is a makeup sponge for the liquid foundation, which I actually do not have to test. If you want to see the liquid foundation, I should have linked uh, Firenix down in the description box. She does a review of that foundation and she loves it. So you can see how she... Like, I already told you she loves it, but you can see why she loves it. And this is a moisturizing eye cream, I think. Oh, yeah, this one, this one, this one. Oh, yeah, this is a serum. Oil Serum Hydration Booster. Okay, so let me use the day cream and the booster before I go in with the foundation. Very light. This is a Scandinavian brand, a Swedish brand. This packaging is very Scandinavian. It's like, that's what we do. Okay, let me 
This seems to be a, a dropper thing, an oil serum. Before, uh, apply before face cream. Okay, since this is a powder foundation, I do like having some moisturizer on. So let, let us try that. I don't think I've ever done some skincare on my, uh, on my channel. It doesn't smell like anything. Like, no, it doesn't smell like anything. That's really nice, actually. It feels really nice. So that was number two. I'm gonna see if I can move some of these things away. Okay, so this is the day cream, moisturizing day cream, normal to combine skin, which is definitely what I have. It's one of those pumps. I'm not gonna use too much since I don't have very dry skin. And if I use too much together with the oil, it might be just too much. I think that's gonna be enough for this like skincare portion of this. I'm just, I feel like when going in with the powder foundation, it's nice to not have dry skin. I didn't really have dry skin, but to hydrate a bit. I'm gonna let this sink in for like two, three minutes. Before I go in with the powder foundation, I'm also gonna wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, I think we are ready to go in. I found these, the lip balm from Eden. I think I'm gonna put some on. While we're doing our makeup. I actually got two. No smell and no taste. Guess these will also be really good if you have sensitive skin. Where do I put these? So, I do have a concealer here. This is the Perfect Under Eye in Extra Light. Um, and I haven't tried their concealer. And when I do powder, the packaging is very, like, it's a very basic packaging. When I do my under eye, uh, when I'm do using powder foundation, I usually do the concealer first. But when I was at the masterclass, the makeup artist used it after. So I think I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to use the foundation first. And I actually got a new one of these kabuki brushes to use with powder foundations. I used to have one of these before. And then I actually decluttered it because it was so old that I actually have had it... I've had it for just too long. Ugh. Because I've had it for, like, since they launched. Because I got one, one day, like, day when they launched. Um, so I'm really excited to have a new one. Because mine was, like, eight years old. That's just too old. Okay, so I'm gonna... This is how I do with powder foundations. I open the box. And see, with this one, it has a sifter. But I always leave mine open because I forget. And then I just pour some in. In the, in the lid. This one isn't a glittery or shiny formula because this one doesn't have um, the minerals that give this that glittery formula, like for example Bare Minerals does. Uh, this one is more of a satin, satin natural finish. So I just go with my brush in here and I just really swirl it around and then I tap off and then I start at the cheek. I think you can see now that it's just one shade too light for me and I just buff it in. I'm gonna use a bit more. This brush is very, very soft. It's absolutely not scratchy at all, while at the same time being extremely dense. Ugh. I didn't tap off the brush. So it really builds, like, it builds good and really buffs in the powder into the skin so that you don't have, like, a super powdery finish. This doesn't really leave a super powdery finish. Maybe for the first, like, it could look a little bit powdery if you're using a lot because you can build this up to like, I would say that this is like a light to medium coverage. Um, and you can definitely build it up to a good medium if you go in with more, but then it might look a bit powdery if you don't use setting spray for like the first half hour or so before it like settles in and warms in with your skin. Looking a bit pale, but that's okay. <laughs> Now we're gonna see about the concealer, and there's also a concealer brush. Let me see how all the brushes look. Okay, so there is an eyeshadow brush, a concealer brush, and then there is a face definer brush. I wouldn't use this to define my face, maybe for highlighter? Because I feel like this is too small for that, according to what I like at least. So we are gonna, we are gonna use the concealer brush with the concealer, and we are gonna see 
how this looks. I'm not going to use too much. I'm just going to use a bit. Just to like concealer a bit of darkness under my eyes. I would say that this concealer is like a medium concealer. It's very creamy, but still not looking oily under my eyes. Uh, I'm actually quite enjoying this concealer with this foundation because it gives just enough coverage. I don't like a full coverage concealer with like a lighter coverage foundation. I personally do not like that look. So I like a lighter concealer to go with that. I'm gonna see if I can set it a bit with, because I do have a powder. I think I have two different ones. Now this one is more of a highlighter and I think this one is the one that's more of a setting powder. So let me, oh maybe I can use this brush for that. Just see if we can, I think this one has a bit of a sheen to it. So I'm guessing it's more like a finishing powder. Let me see if I can. Oh, that's light though. That's very light and very shiny. I don't think I should be using that under my eyes. Ugh. Yeah, that's straight up shiny. Nope, not using that under my eyes. Like, I do not want to be full on glowy, so I think I'm just gonna leave it and see... Oh, I have a hair here. I have two hairs. Go away. I think I'm gonna leave it at that and not set it. Maybe I'll see if I can use this on like the high points of my face instead then. See if we can get some extra glow. It's actually quite pretty, quite pretty. I am gonna do my eyebrows and then I'm gonna set it with this one because I've heard so many good things about them. This, and even though I do not need a new eyebrow gel, I've heard such good things about this. This one has won awards in Sweden. This is the perfect eyebrows eyebrow gel with fiber infused volumizing tinted. And this is in medium. And like I said, I've heard really good things about this. This, this is a bit weird though, but at least it's easy to, to grab onto. So I'm gonna do my brows a bit and I'm gonna set it with this and I'll let you know what I feel about it because I've heard that that one is so good. That's the only reason I'm trying it. Otherwise I have so many brow gels, but I've heard it's great. So let me, let me do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, I will say this one is great. It really, really set my brows and let me shape my brow hairs in the way that I wanna shape them, which is very bushy i like my brows wild but i have very little brow hairs so it's really hard to make that happen but i do feel like with this product it, it was really nice it was really nice i also used i don't have an eye primer from you know, so i used this eyeshadow base primer from sigma in ignite which is basically like a vanilla -y, a vanilla -y white soft soft vanilla so I use that as an eye primer to not make it too stark, but to have something to build on because we are going to use, I'm going to use a bronzer before, but I do have a quad from Eden, but this one is very neutral. So I'm going to use this one and show you what it looks like. And then I'm actually going to pull in something else from my collection just to show you how you could do like a everyday look, but still incorporating some color in a way that wouldn't let your, like make your colleagues raise an eyebrow. Like color you can get away with. I don't have a bronzer brush from Eden, so I am gonna use my bronzer brush from Linda Halberg. This is Sommerdrum, which means summer dream. It is a bronzer from Eden. I don't know if this is the matte one or the one that has a bit of a sheen, but maybe we'll see. I think this could be the one that has a bit of a sheen. I'm gonna warm up around my face pretty much all over because this powder is a bit too light for me so I get some some like light back. I don't have a blush from Eden. I actually gave the blush I had uh, from Eden since before to my mom and um, so I'm not gonna be using blush. I think I'm just gonna be using bronzer and just bronzing this up a bit. <laughs> making me look a bit more bronzed. I think that this color actually worked pretty good on me. It brought me back some, some life. I didn't set my concealer and it almost set on its own. There are some small like settling in lines, but I actually think that I might get away with this. <laughs> uh, let me use 
the thing that's supposed to be this is a single eyeshadow but they recommend you to use it as a highlighter this is Fiel Sippa uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that like how to put that in English it's a kind of a flower that grows in the mountains in the north in Sweden and this is basically a very shimmery champagne color it's a bit lighter than I would normally pick for uh, my skin tone but I saw her use this on the model and it looked very pretty on her. So we're gonna, yeah, it's a bit too light than what I would use on my my skin tone. But I think that if you if you like a, an like icy highlighter or if you are a tad lighter than me, uh, like if you are fair to light, I think you'd really like this one. Personally, I like when highlighters have a bit more warmth to them uh, to not look too icy on my skin. But the texture is really nice. Yeah, it's, it's a really nice texture. It's just slightly too icy for what I am used to using on my on my own on myself <laughs> Okay, here's the quad that I'm gonna use and like I said before a bit more neutral than I normally go for so I'm gonna do something neutral on my eye and then to show you what you could do and then I'm just gonna pop on a color from my collection just to show you like what it could be if you were wanting to bring in some color to your everyday look because that is me. I'm gonna start with this color up in the corner, this lighter one, and then is this one shimmer? It has some shimmer in it, but yeah, I think I'm gonna use these two uh, on top because one seems to have a bit of shimmer or glitter particles in it, and I'm not not really what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use this um, lighter brown in the crease. I do realize that like these eyeshadows I am not the target audience like it's not people like me that they are trying to sell these eyeshadows to so I'm trying to not be too harsh when it comes to color selection and like pigmentation as well because I do realize that if you are not an avid like eyeshadow wearer or connoisseur having a bunch of pigmentation like BAM in your eyeshadows when you go in could be a bit frightening and I totally see that so but I do think that this has a good amount of pigmentation though I do see color uh, in my crease and I feel like I can blend it out and get a definition in my crease I feel like that could be really nice I'm gonna use the same color under my eyes just patting on a bit like under my eyes because I feel like when you're going for an everyday look, if you still like to have defined under eyes like I do, uh, a good tip is to not go in with the darkest color on your eyes, to skip that one and just use the middle colors on your eyes. That like automatically just softens up the look. Now I'm gonna take that darkest color, the one that's... Let's not show you the mess, the one that's up here in the corner. And I'm just gonna define ever so little out in my outer corner because I do feel like it does bring a lot to a look if it's just a little definition in the outer corner at least for my eye shape it it helps a lot not doing anything dramatic just a little bit maybe something like that would be enough maybe more a bit more, a bit more. just a bit more I'm gonna take this eyeshadow brush from Eden now and I'm gonna take this cream one down here in the corner and I'm just gonna put that on my lid. I'm also gonna take it in the inner corner and I'm gonna take it up a bit here because that really will help you to look more awake. Just diffusing the line a bit with my finger. So this is where we're at. They did have a liquid liner included in, in these things, but I don't think I'm gonna use a liquid liner. But let me show you what it looks like. Why is my hair everywhere? Okay, so this is what it looks like. Liquid eye pen, and it's called Blick, which is the Swedish word for ink. So that's pretty funny, actually. Uh, shake well before use. Okay. It's a felt tip liner, and the uh, tip seems really nice. You can see here it's pretty thin, but not too thin and long, which makes it hard to handle. But I will use this in another. Um, let me put this here. I will use this in another video, and I will let you know how I feel about it because I don't want to use a liner today. Also got some mascaras. I actually got three different mascaras. One of them is a 
This, called, uh, this one is called Vatten, which means water in Sweden, although it's spelled a bit weird. This is a waterproof one, it's not what I'm going to be using today. Then is a Magna Lengthening and Magna Volume. I think I'm going to have Volume? Volume? Am I doing Volume? I think so. I'm doing Volume. Ooh, that's really nice. Magna is... When is magna really? Because magma is something... Magna? I don't really know what that is in Swedish, to be honest. Should I know that? It does ring a bell. It does ring a bell. So this is what... Oh, it's a bit curved. It's a bit... It's a bit big. That's what she said. But I'm gonna use this one and I think I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'll use this one and we'll see, and we'll see what I think because I'm not gonna put any falsies on. So I'll do that and I'll come back. And then it's the lips and I'll show you what it looks like for a neutral office look and then I'll put on a bit of color if you want to be a bit more daring like me. Okay so this is the look right now and I have to say I think the lashes are looking pretty okay. This is two layers and I did curl my lashes a bit. Like I said this was the uh, Instant Max Volume Definition and Care. Uh, it's not my favorite like first impression mascara I've ever like laid my eyes on but I do really like it and I don't feel uncomfortable going out, like I don't feel uncomfortable going out in anything so that's not really the measurement to what like we should be, the standard that we should be holding these things against because I have no shame. I'm gonna be putting on some color in a bit but first I wanna be putting on a lipstick. Let me, let me dig in my bag and see what I got. First of all let me show you the one that I actually this is the lip crayon in Barbro. This is the one that I'm actually already using uh, in a tutorial. I will say that these are pretty hard to take off. And you don't want to, you want to uh, be sure that you don't nick them. Although I did that now anyways. But this is a beautiful, like, why am I holding it towards my eyes? Because I'm stupid. It's beautiful, like, rusty neutral. You see, it would go really well with this shirt. This would be a beautiful color, but I've already used it. So I kind of want to use something else. But this color was beautiful. Packaging is a bit bit hard though. This is the lip crayon in Lille. Uh, it's Barbro and Lille are two uh, Swedish names. Not like super modern, like more more old school, old school names. Okay, so this is more of an orangey fiery red. Also very pretty, not exactly what I am after. Then there is a lip gloss and a two lip glosses. One is in Louise and one is in Agnes. Agnes would be Agnes in um, English. In Swedish it is Agnes. And um, both of these are... Oh yeah, okay. So one is more of a baby pink, no shimmer. And then one is more of a cooler toned lilac and this has some shimmer in it. That seems interesting. And then there are four bullet lipsticks. One of these I've actually swatched. And that one seemed very pretty. So let me see if I can try that one. This one is called Jordgub, which is strawberry. And I'm guessing that is a strawberry color then. Actually, maybe a bit more rusty than the strawberry, but... It smells a bit... <laughs> I get on my nose, a bit perfumey. These have cloudberry oil in them, or essence one of them uh, to be a bit nourishing on the lips. This one is called Sylvia. Is this the one that I swatched? It could be because the one that I swatched had some glitter in it and it was a bit sheer. Let's put that to the side because that could have been the one I swatched and if so I want to use that one because it was sheer and beautiful. Let me, let me see. This one is Elise. This also seems a bit sheer, if it's the same formula, uh, but a bit more pink and has some shimmer in it. And I seem more like a, a warmer pink. And this is Björnbad. Björnbad is... What is Björnbad? I don't... Blackberry, that's what it is. In Swedish, uh, blackberries are actually called Björnbad, which actually means bear berries very weird. This seems more like a cream finish uh, in a more of a darker aubergine. So that makes me very, that makes me sure that it was um, Sylvia that I was swatching. Let me see, yeah, I can see the swatch mark here. So let me put this on because when I swatched it, it was the most beautiful, glossy, see-through, like transparent. You know, let me see if it's the same as I remember it. 
great. They found the toy. Mommy had to borrow that one because it was getting annoying real fast. So this is what the lipstick looks on. Sylvie or Sylvia? Sylvie or Sylvia? Sylvia. And I really like it. It's like a... Like a berry red, but it's a bit see-through, and it's not very, it's not like glossy, but it has a bit of a sheen to it, and it has some shimmer in it that also helps with the sheen. So this could be, let me see, what am I doing? Let me see if I can change the settings on this one. Should I really change the settings so we can get a bit of a blurry background? Let's do that. That's much better. My hair, ugh. It's a mess. I have so much glue in my hair, but that that's that's how it is. So this could be a like everyday neutral look if you are going for this Eden uh, Minerals makeup. This is obviously not the kind of look that I go for. This is more of a cool tone brown look, but I wanted to spruce it up a bit just to show you that if you are going for an office appropriate look, uh, just putting on a bit of color could work as long as you're not doing too much and as long as you're trying to tone the rest of your makeup down. Because like this, I have a fresh dewy face, I have a bit of a see-through like lippy, bit of a cool tone brown crease and no like falsies. So I'm gonna put on to begin with Prans from Colourpop. You know, this is probably my favorite liner of all time. If this could just cooperate a bit. The thing is that maybe you want to do something after work as well. Maybe you're not able to wear any kind of color to work. Maybe just bringing another item here. This is the uh, Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in Too Shy. And I don't know if they have this one exactly uh, left, but this is a blue-purple glittery duochrome. And this is a bit sheer, so this is not fully opaque. Just bringing two items like this to work and, of course, like the lippy could take you from a very subtle day look to more of an evening look if you put even more on than I'm gonna put on now. If you maybe wanna go like, maybe for an after work afterwards. So I'm just gonna go in like this and I am gonna put this in the middle. I'm still gonna leave some of the like cream shadow on the inner corner and inner part. I'm just putting a bit in the middle. And just like that, I got a bit of blue on my lid. And uh, let me wipe this off. Somebody told me that I should wipe my fingers off on my Veramona color switch, and it's so smart. I have no idea why I haven't thought of that, but that's what we're doing now. And as you can see, it's still a bit cool tone brown in the crease. It's very subtle. It's just a hint of blue. And I don't think that anyone would walk up to you and be like, is that really office appropriate? Is that like a day look? Because I feel like this is a day look. The skin is fresh, the lips are a bit sheer and looking moisturized, there's not a lot of like either blush, bronzer or highlight and they're not super sculpted like brows. If you want to wear color to as an everyday thing and not have people react to it, because I think that that's what people are after, they want to have color and not want to have people react to it. I would say tone everything else down and choose something that's maybe not, that's not so that you can't see it from like 100 meters away. You have to get up a bit close to see like, oh, it's actually blue. Uh, and with that being said, if you like rocking a blue smoky eye to work, I'm with you, hashtag same, because that is what I would totally do if I didn't go to work so early in the morning. But I also do appreciate wearing looks like this. So I felt like it's only fair for me to show you both. So I'm gonna try and incorporate more looks like this on my channel. Please hold me accountable if it takes too long for my next next one. I really do hope you like this video. I have to say, I like Eda Minerals as a brand. I do hope that they will try and come out with maybe something a bit more like I don't want to say experimental because the, like that's that's no not everybody needs to have that but even people that have allergies or skin sensitivity or rosacea maybe they want something a bit more fun as well uh, I think that a brand like Eden would make such a good like coming up with glowy blushes could be such a good step for them. And I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked um, the look, even though it's a bit more subtle. It's not the type of look that I normally do, but maybe that's fun as well. And I will see you in my next video. Don't really know what that's gonna be. It's gonna be either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. That's how it is in my channel. Okay, bye.